New at 6, a school superintendent apologizes. It involved a video from a gay-straight alliance shown at a high school. Lacey Crisp has the story. She is live in our newsroom. Lacey. Yeah, the district received a handful of calls after the 16-minute video was shown. Now the superintendent says she's sorry. I think it should have been more balanced. Like, it's, I don't feel that it should be. Be a part of the school. The Janesville School District is getting heat from some parents and a grandparent for showing a pro gay marriage video during the school day. I can't remember if I was told to issue an apology, but I, I chose to do that because I thought it was the right thing to do. The Gay Straight Alliance chose this video to play as a part of their National Day of Silence to bring awareness to gay and lesbian issues. The video was played during the advisory period at Craig High School. We're not shying away from controversial issues. We want to make sure that they're done appropriately. Janesville Superintendent Karen Schulte explains well, school policies school. weren't followed yeah. and the video should have been balanced with another video or parents should have been notified ahead of time. Parents say the apology was needed. Students explain they didn't have a problem with the video. I believe that was the right thing to do. I think it was okay. I mean, there's nothing that was bad that could be offensive. Superintendent would not say if anyone will be disciplined for showing the video. She says that's a private personnel matter, but they are reviewing their policies. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. So there is a protocol to follow. Thank you very much, Lacey. Oh.